Good afternoon, my name's Joe James, head golf professional at Delapre Golf Centre, and what a glorious day. I mean, this is what it's all about, in the sun, playing golf, and having fun. Now, the thing is about golf is it's a very, very tricky game, as we all know, and there's so many different elements to it. And one of the most talked about elements of golf is how do we hit a bunker shot? We're on the 15th hole at Delapre Golf Centre, as I say, on a glorious day. And we're just going to go through some tips about how to be a be better bunker player. Okay, the grip. How do we set the club in the bunker? Which is really tricky, because what you don't want to do, you don't want to sit there and open the club, but the club wants to be open. So we actually pre-set the club. We actually have it open in our hands. Okay, so you see, you know, that says an emblem on the club there on the grip. We want to turn that, if you're right-handed, that is, to the right, and we want to grip it with the club face open. Now, the first things first is when you step into a bunker, obviously, it's a hazard, and you mustn't ground your club, which is really, really difficult. So basically, when you sort of set to a bunker shot, you've got to have your club above the ball. You're not allowed to ground your club in the, in the bunker because it's going to be a penalty shot. And you're not to allowed to have practice swings, again, because it, you'll, you'll incur penalty shots. So, the first thing we do when we get into a bunker is you want to tell and feel how much sand in the trap. There's a fair amount of depth there in the sand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play in the middle of my stance and I'm going to have my feet slightly open. Now, the most important thing when you play a bunker shot, the most important thing is you get most of your weight on your left side. So, I'm going to dig my feet in. Now, the most important thing is we're going to lean left. Yeah, I'm going to lean left. Okay. Now, we can have a couple of pre, sort of a bit of a rehearsal. Now, what I'm going to do is I must hit the sand. And the important thing is that we get the ball out of the bunker. Now, you can see that I've hit sand and the ball's come out. Now, what you mustn't be out of a bunker shot when you first start to get used to doing what I'm asking you to do is try to get too close. That's gonna come with confidence. Now, the plug lie. As soon as you get in there, you think, oh, how bad a luck I have. I haven't to sort of see that and I've got to play it. Now, most people would try to blast that out, but the way to play a plug lie is you do the opposite to a normal bunker shot, okay? You close the club face, which is very odd. So basically, you're going to look how close my club face is. You're going to aim very, very square. And we're going to try to just pump this shot out of the sand. Okay. Now, I'll be pretty impressed with that shot. Yeah, so you can see it wasn't a massive swing. So why do we close the club face? Well, you take less sand. There's obviously, it's impacted by loads of sand. It's in a bit of an island. So basically, the reason why we close it Close the club face is because when the club comes down, it actually goes through the sand like a standing knife because the sand's already there. So we don't have to try to take the sand. Now, what most people would try to do is this. So I'll plug the ball, and this is what most people do. They try to open it more, and they end up, and the ball doesn't come out. And then they just get a cigar out because they're not going to get it out like that. So if I just go through it again, that scenario, I'm going to close the club face. And I'm just going to let the club do its work. I'm not trying to, going to try to force it. And the ball just pops out of that hole. Well, that's it for today. Over the next 12 weeks, we're going to be covering lots of different scenarios on the golf course. I hope you enjoyed it at Delapre Golf Centre. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you very much. Signing off from Joe James, head golf professional, Delapre Golf Centre.